The office setting really hasn't changed all that much since Henry Ford. Companies built work hubs. They tried to hire a lot of people around and it's created a, uh, a challenging environment to secure the best talent. It's also created a frustrating environment for employees. Citrix is the world's leading digital workspace provider. We deliver solutions to help unify, secure, and simplify work to elevate employee experience and drive better business outcomes. Businesses are shifting away from traditional office settings for a few reasons. First is that the ubiquity of wireless connection as well as mobile devices really allows people to work from anywhere on any device and be productive based on their own terms. And then a second reason is because people really want flexibility. We all wanna be able to decide what kind of environment we wanna work in and where we're gonna be most successful. And over the last 18 months during the pandemic, we really got exposure into a new way of working. This has really meant that we've gotten to experience that flexibility and a lot of people wanna to, want to take that and move it forward into how they work on a regular basis. And all of these factors are forcing organizations to really rethink the traditional office setup. The pandemic really removed the taboos about remote work, removed that misconception that work can't happen outside of an office environment. And this has both liberated employees who now understand the power of being able to work how they want, where they want, and at the time that they want. For corporations, they began to recognize that remote work has a tremendous amount of benefits. They can secure talent well beyond the commuting distance to one of their work hubs. They can lower IT and real estate costs. They can actually improve uh, and contribute to their sustainability efforts. And they can just have an overall more engaged and productive workforce by embracing remote work. Citrix really accommodates a variety of new work models. And this is really important because every organization is a little different and their strategy and the type of experience that they're looking to provide are unique to their specific businesses. I'm really proud of Citrix's balance between security and experience. And really, if you think about it, especially when it comes to supporting remote or hybrid work, these two elements are really crucial. You can have the most secure product, but if it inhibits productivity and it's really difficult for end users to use, they will find less secure ways of getting their work done. So as more companies start to support a remote or hybrid work structure, they have to start thinking about being able to acquiesce some control to the end user, but still protecting everything that they need while not making it really difficult for the end user to be productive in any environment. And so leveraging Citrix analytics for performance, as well as a variety of other products, really allow our customers to understand what's going on in their environments, both from a security and reliability standpoint and address needs proactively. But all of these are invisible to an end user. So their experience is still what they expect and still one they'll continue to come back to. So for us, Citrix have been the industry leader really since we started working with them 10 years ago. I think there's nobody who really understands this space quite in the same way that Citrix does. The delivery, the support, and everything that we experience in working with them is just exceptional as a business. You know, we work in a very high performance environment. We have a business full of people who demand the best tools to do their jobs. And Citrix is not only enabling them access to those tools, but it is one of those tools. It's a really, really important sort of part of our day to day. And the fact that we've had this relationship with Citrix for such a long time and it, it's such a positive relationship, I think speaks volumes for the quality of the product, the quality of the support. And actually one of the first things that we started to look at together was how we virtualize things like delivery of CAD machines for our engineers in the design office. So these are usually really high performance desktop machines that they would sit under their desks. The problem is that to run something like a CAD package, we use Siemens NX CAD package to do all the 3D modeling of the car. It's really graphic intensive. It's very heavy on compute. And Citrix have been incredibly supportive in actually adapting and improving the product to meet some of those requirements. I feel Citrix really gives everyone the right amount of energy office work versus remote work and everything in between so you can really find what works best for you and really bring your full self to work physically or to work remotely. Even some of my colleagues in you know, other states have mentioned that they can waste up to two, three hours alone just sitting in traffic. So that is going to help bring more productivity. You're a little bit more alert. You're able to kind of really jump in and you know, get things done. And you know, from the social cue aspect that I just mentioned, you, know, you don't have to really worry about what I'm going to wear to work today, um, who am I going to bump into, or anything like that. You can just kind of 
not have that little bit of stress so you can really bring more of yourself to, the, to, to your job and productivity. Organizations looking to embrace remote or hybrid work really need to view it around three vectors. First, they need to rethink their culture. They need to create an environment that supports an equitable work environment, you know, creating uh, policies as well as norms that facilitate collaboration across these distributed teams. Secondly, they have to rethink their physical workplace. If employees aren't coming in to punch a virtual clock and sit at a virtual desk anymore, now they really need to think about what's the role of the office. And then third, and possibly most importantly, because we are going to be in a hybrid and distributed work environment, companies really have to invest heavily in their digital workspace, because that's gonna be the only consistent for employees. The future of the digital workspace is all about adaptability. Organizations really need to have a deep understanding of what their end users need and how they need to set up the tools to help them be productive. From understanding their workflows to knowing what the processes look like and then selecting a digital workspace that really provides the ability to automate key workflows um, as well as some low value work and allows the end user to focus. And that equation, that mix of features and functionality and tools is really gonna look different for every organization. And so every digital workspace platform needs to be flexible, adaptable, and also integrate with existing technologies and ultimately provide a secure, consumer-like experience to every end user.